Knowing what you know now, if you could text message yourself so that it would receive it at the start of the school year, what advice would you give yourself? Hi Pat, I mean hi future me. Invest in a lot of stocks. Like a lot of stocks. You're gonna run out of money really quickly. Probably tell myself to take it easy and um, you know, take your time, don't you know, live too fast. Don't study for the SAT like you aren't. That's, that's good. Um, you got a good grade. Mm. Just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. Cool, dude. Just go. Don't stop. Okay. That's what I'd say to myself. I wouldn't text myself because if I did give myself advice, I may not learn, may not have learned the really important lessons that I did learn throughout the year. And um, they say that someday you'll realize why it all had to happen. And there are some really terrible things that happened this year, but there are also some really good things. And I wouldn't want to change anything that happened this year. So I wouldn't want to send a text to hinder any sort of experiences that I've had so far. That's true. I'm sure it's in the school park on the Hawking Street, Colorado. Uh, work harder than you did. Uh, let's see. What am I going to say? Let's see. The biggest piece of advice to my best self I would just try harder. Yeah, nothing else. stuff that happens during the um, school year and just like focus on your grades and um, yeah, focus on your grades. I guess I would say to study more. Um, I would tell myself to Start on my college application. I mean, I started over the summer, but I kind of stopped and then finished it right before the deadline. So I definitely tell myself to finish earlier so I would have a lot less stress. And I would also tell myself not to take AP Calculus because that class was the death of me. Uh, yeah. Uh, I would probably text myself to uh, that this year actually matters and you need to do your work. Um, because I realized that a little more than halfway through the year, I should have known that uh, before the year started. So that's probably what I would tell myself. Uh, I would say uh, you're not that great, and if you know that now, your year is going to be a lot better. Um, I mean, it kind of it helps. But you're still pretty okay, so. Um, be true to yourself. You really gotta be true to yourself. You can't, you can't be what you, you think you should be. You have to be you. Because if you're not you, then you'll never find who you really are. And I think one of the biggest things I've learned is I've tried this year to be so many different things. I've realized that I can't be like everybody else. I have to be who I am. Because like, you should be yourself. And like, if, if you be yourself, you can like get friends. That are, that are like have the same interests as you so like don't be who you're not because like that's just like not a good thing to do because then you won't have real friends. My phone doesn't really have service in school so uh, probably not that. Um, I guess follow what your heart wants because if you stay strong enough to follow it, then you'll get it. Go back and check your work. Go through the camera things. I mean, we've looked at so many camera shots and we messed up so much. Being by windows. This is just in general. You don't have to say anything. And really, that's just the only thing I have to say to myself. Just check the camera work. I would 
tell myself to like not listen to anyone else's opinion, especially when it comes to like college and stuff. Like, just do whatever you want to do. Don't like let other people or like relationships or friendships influence where you go. Who will win the Super Bowl when I bet all of my money on that team? I would tell myself to always make sure that I do my work and make sure they get it on get it in on time. And maybe drop out of honors chem because that wasn't the best choice that I had this year. Um, yeah, and then just have fun because the sophomore year went by like really quickly. So I would just I would tell myself that to know who your friends are and that people who might have been your friends last year aren't necessarily going to be your friends this year, but you're going to meet a whole group of people that will make you smile more than those other people did. Um, also, don't slack off fourth quarter. You did it last year, you're gonna do it again this year. Don't do it any more times because that 78 in grooms class isn't going far. And um, I guess the only other thing is, um, su support the people around you and the decisions they make no matter what, because they will need you more than you need them. So. Uh, and in my work in time. Uh, I would tell myself to manage my time wisely. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, do my projects on time. And uh, Jessica, you're not a failure at life. You don't have to think down about yourself. You're smart, and you just need to prove yourself. Um study for those SATs because it's junior year. Um, beginning of the year, um, find out you're gonna meet some, a good group of friends and just don't lose your other friends, keep in touch, um, spend your time wisely. You can do so much even though it's such a busy time. And, um, after those APs are over, you're going to not want to do anything but do something because college is coming. Enjoy your year. It's going to be a great year. Hi, Ms. Green. We just wanted to say thank you for a great year. Yes, we do. Yeah. Because uh, you happen to be one of the best teachers and uh, we're very thankful. The best teacher. And we are very thankful. Have a good summer if you see this.